What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Blind. In the last episode we tried to climb these trees and I found out very disappointedly that I can't for some stupid reason. I don't know why. I could have sworn you get up here in the previous games and you maybe might be able to and maybe I'm just not able to due to the fact I don't have enough magic to float across from, a, from that vantage point over there. Maybe I'm just not hookshotting the right thing. I don't know, man. It sucks. It's so sad to me. Oh. Anyways, so I guess we're done here at Great Fish Islands. Um, Beetle, what do you sell? Oh, that's right. He doesn't sell Hawaii pears. I remember when I was here, our last episode, where I tried. I wanted to buy Hawaii pears, but I couldn't. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. Bye bye, Great Fish Isle. Bye-bye, we'll see you again another time. As you guys know, there's a Goron merchant there, so we'll have something to do with the side quest coming up. Um, yeah, actually, I'll play a pretty big part in it, so we're going to deal with that eventually. But for now, we're going to head to this highland, which I'm not sure what this is. This almost looks like another reef. It looks a bit oddly shaped. It's almost like it's too jagged to be a reef. Oh, no, it's definitely a reef. All right. Also, in between episodes, I went and got more fairies and healed up. You see, I have two more fairies. I'm still not entirely sure where the... Oh, there we got a treasure chart here, apparently. Uh, fishy. Mr. Fish Guy. Ooh, I have the fairy actually on my bar there. I should definitely take that off before I accidentally use it. Because let's face it, that's totally going to happen. <gasps> Mr. Manfish, what do you have to say to me today? It better be something great. Or otherwise, I am going to slap you in the face. Boy, smart fry. Uh, so I have a Kangasaur in my mouth right now. It's on my... It's like... Uh, you have your front... It's on the lower part of my jaw. Three-Eye Reef! It's on the lower part of my jaw. But it's like... It's in the middle of my front teeth, but it's to the left. On my left side. And it's... Oh, it's so annoying. It's right at the base of the gums. Ugh. I mean, a weird, really weird guy on the island. Dude, east here. He had a... Uh, he had on a pack on his back. Huger than any pack I've ever seen. I mean, it was B-R-G, fra. He said I was looking for treasure, but what does he expect to find a place like that? I tell you, that guy's completely obsessed. That's all I found got that. What? Actually, that's completely. I mean, what do you mean? What do you find? Expect to find a place like that? It's a destroyed island. Surely that would like you know uncover some stuff. So, um, you'll see here. You, on any square, if you look at the very top right of the screen, not the map, but the screen itself, you'll notice that there's the fish guy there. So if you press X, it'll actually tell you, um, what the fish guy would actually tell you. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually tell. Like, I don't really get why that's a thing. That's a bit weird to me. I don't really get the point, but I mean, okay, Nintendo. If, you know, you want a list. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure where that one is. I think it's right here. No, I think it's here. Yeah, look at that. I think I was a little farther back, technically, but I think they'll let me get away with that one. Let me get away, get away, get away now and stuff. I don't freak out. <gasps> I got the heart, piece of heart. Oh, yeah. I was hoping that maybe be a special chart, but oh well. All right. Don't hit me. No touchy. You guys hurt a lot. So I'd really like if you didn't hurt me. Yeah. All right. Let's get in here. Let's get. Did a bomb just fly past me? What the heck? Whoa. Okay. Let's take care of you first. Uh, oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't have taken him out because that would he would have blocked me from this can cannon. Dang it. Oh, the freaking waves going up and down. I mean, ugh, thankfully, it makes it harder for them to hit me as well. Hey, look, it's a tingle ball. What the heck? Where did that even come from? What the balls? I almost... That's like the destined tingle bottle. I must have it. I must have it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Sunset and a rainstorm. Interesting. Oh, man. Eh. Okay, that should be good. Yep. Okay, I gotta be, like, more careful with this. This can business, apparently. Oh, he doesn't see... Oh, he just sees me. Never mind. He doesn't... Oh! Woo! <laughs> Jeez. Um. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, I was gonna say, I feel like since we're farther away, it'll be harder for, for them to hit us, but that's not true, as you guys can see. I think it is just as well. Eh. Did I get it? Yeah, I totally got it. Nice. High five. Yeah. If you high five yourself, is it just kind of like, you know, a slap on us on a high five? Wait. A clap. That's that's the word I say. Is it a clap if you high five yourself? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> what? I don't know. First selfie. Yay! That's beautiful. Look at all the skeletons. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's get back here. 
Not so fast. Not so hasty. Alright. No, get out. Good enough. Alright, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna wonder where the heck my boat is. <laughs> Although, since I took take a note that I'm gonna wonder that, I'm definitely not going to know. Oh, look at that. There's like fossils on here. Cool, I never noticed that before. Maybe they're not fossils. Maybe they're just the design. So, you know, this game and it's like swirly swirls. Like, put on. where's the chest that was over there? Alright, so I guess we gotta walk all the way around. Oh, man. Once again, I mean, it sounds like I was saying, oh, man, like I hate it, but it's so nostalgic to me. Look at this great fish aisle over there. Oh, man, I almost. It really just makes me want to get magic and try and go back there and see if I can fly across the thing there. Look at those lights. I almost thought maybe it was going to only be three since the three eye reef. And by the way, if you haven't gotten this yet, the reefs are like, they're dice. They're seriously just dice. <laughs> There's a three. So if you look at it, if you look at it, oh, look at that. Look, it's, it's, a, it's a dice or a die, I guess. I mean, it's really weird. I don't know. Maybe Nintendo has a freaking gambling problem. Like, the entirety of the company. <laughs> Look at these bombs. Why? Because maybe they're giving them for me to, for future reef battles. I like these, like... Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, these flags are the same flag again and use them in the Forsaken Fortress. Huh. Oh, you know what? Maybe they're pig noses. I've always thought they're, like, skulls, but they kind of look like pig noses, don't they? Like, I don't know, like, you might be thinking, how the heck could you think that's a skull? But, um, it just looks like a really, really cartoony, basic skull with just, like, the two holes being eye sockets. But maybe I'm just being crazy. Uh, ease. Yeah, it seems to be the best bet here. Yeah, I did it! Alright. Let's throw that on R. And jump! Oh, no, I did not jump off of the- Oh, no, my- I forgot I ran out of magic. There better be magic in that barrel. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch this again. Um, I'm going to go see if there's any magic in these, and then I'll meet you guys where I was. Dang it. Okay, I'm back. You'll see all the enemies respond. I actually changed it from day to night um, at the front, like right where that flag is. I did that so the so the barrel would respawn, and I could continually break it fire forever. Oh, good lord. Okay, I don't, I'm not liking all these. <laughs> so I didn't even think about that until now, that... Hey, I could just change it from day to night, and then I'll cause the barrels to respawn, and it did. So I kind of cheated my way to get magic, but hell, it was better than going teleporting somewhere and finding some magics elsewhere. So you know, I said screw it. I guess look back. Looks like that cannon got hit by something. Probably another cannon. Actually, that's seriously the only thing I could possibly even hit. And <laughs> the only thing I could have been possibly be hit by. That's right. I just said hit and get over it, bro. Pfft. No. Yeah, I don't know what that island is. I feel like I'm going to start recognizing. Although, you know what? By the time like we were done traversing these seas, I feel like the remaining treasure charts, since I'll even have all the fishermen squares, I feel like it'll be easy to figure out exactly which ones I'm missing and then go collect them and all that. And it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. I can't wait to do it. Look at that horned battleship. It's wonderful. Great. Oh, you know, one thing I do need to check here is um, Tingles. No, not Tingles chart. Well, I guess we could check the incredible chart. Really. Oh, look at that. Next Triforce piece is down there. Holy crap, we have a lot of Triforce pieces coming, guys. The majority of them are on this next square, so we're going to probably be in that sector for a little while. All right, we do have an Octo kind of coming up. Mm, no special light rings there. And then finally, no platform here. Not in the next one, but the one after there is one. Whoa! Oh, so I landed in the ship. Would have been great. I would have got, gotten to say shit. But, you know, ship. Oops. No, 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 no. I need to go over here and then close that. I need to go south. No, I need to go this way, I think. Get away from me, battleship! I guess I could start using my compass a little more. <laughs> That's probably why I should have been doing it for a long time. Oh, I know what this island is. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of this island. Not even gonna lie. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. All right, so the first off is a tri piece, <laughs> a tri piece, a triforce piece in here. Let's take a look at where that is one more time. So see, it, it's circled on the side there, and then it points to a golden ship. Hey, look, it's a golden ship. <laughs> so let's go over here. Uh, no, no, I pulled out the wrong thing. 
and start our battleship wars. Bim, 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 bim. <laughs> no! Crap! Oh, they can't reach me. I tried to use my sail, but I blew out of my boat instead like a stoop. Got anything for me? A green ruby. Oh, yeah, and see it. What the heck? Is there another one somewhere? Where did that bomb come from? What the balls? No, 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 no. Whoa! I just went like over my head. Oh, good lord! Holy crap. Uh, I'm kind of curious what those ones will contain, to be honest. Probably just another 50 rupees. Okay. You know what? Let's get a close look at this before you sink it. Look at that. It's just a gold ship. <laughs> it's like a freaking dark nut. Just the, the thing it has on. Oh, it's going to take more than three hits. Yeah, don't hit me. There we go. All right. Does this make... Oh, you know what? I mentioned a few episodes ago that there, I thought there was maybe a thing that made a giant light ring in the sea. And I thought it was this one, but apparently not. All right. Let's pay attention to where this is. Eh. No. 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 Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, let's pull this up and see what we got. Oh, snappers! Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> we got the triper chart! You can't read it yourself, so you have to go get it deciphered somewhere. Ooh, where could that somewhere be? I wonder. Ooh, I wonder, wonder, wonder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, now I'm really curious. If this will have anything interesting or not. Probably it's another 50 rupees. It's really, I'm just really curious. I won't check the other one unless this has like 200 rupees, in which case I'll probably check the other one. But let's face it, it's probably not have 200 rupees. If anything, it'd have an orange rupee? Okay, purple rupees. Purple poopies. <laughs> Is there a beetle ship here? Please let there be a beetle ship here. There's no beetle ship here, is there? Curse you, game! There's no beetle ship here. That sucks. Oh man. That's really silly. Ah, uh, cuz this island actually we need You know what? There's no point in even exploring it yet. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We use the Ballad of the Gales. Oops. That's, oops, that's not even the Ballad of the Gales. We're going to go to the Windfall Island, then we're going to return here. Uh, I'm just going to go to Beetle Ship. I'm going to buy three or four hoy pairs, I guess. Maybe it'd be safe, I'll buy f well, I don't want to have a bunch of hoi pairs on nothing. Oh, well, you know, we all need four anyways. Well, not really, but we could use them to explore other islands. But anyways, okay, I'll be right back, you guys. Are you serious? What the balls? Beetle? Why would you sell two arrows? What? Did you maybe change the stock if I go back inside? Are you serious? What? There we go. Oh, here we go. What you want to do is try to save up to 60 points to earn our gold membership. So we already had 30, so we need to save up to or 60 now. So it doesn't start over. See, it said we have 32 there. So I don't have to worry about, you know, putting it back to zero when I have to start your points over. You know, while I'm here, let's go. There's one thing I forgot to do while I was here that I was kind of interested in checking out because I never did do it. He's using the grappling hook on that. I think it's just another way to get across this bridge. Dang it. I think it's just another way to get across the bridge, but let's see if it does anything. Because there's another peg up there with just 20 rupees on it. But still, let's see if there's anything interesting that comes of it. Do -do -do -do. Uh, wait, that is 20. Okay, it is 20 rupees. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not just like a heart or anything, is it? It totally looked like a heart for a brief moment in time there. Alright. Climb, climb, climb all the way to the top. Alright, I almost used my leaf there, which would have been bad because it would have caused me to. It would have caused me to step back and I'd fall off. First shizzle, my nizzle hood. Alright, here we go. Yay! Is there anything to do here? No. There's not anything to do here, is there? Oh, we're actually at the same height of that boulder, it looks like. Okay, great. Whee! <laughs> If you take out your sword right before you're about to land in a high fall, I don't think you'll take damage from it, interestingly enough. But okay, I'll meet you guys back at the place we were, the island we were at. But then I done guffed and I ended up not having any void bears. So see you guys in a second again! Alright, okay, I'm back. So, one thing I do want to take note of here, look, okay, look at the compass right now. You see the red arrows pointing the direction we're going? We're going southeast, according to that. But if you look at the map, it shows us we're going 
southwest. And see, look, it says on the compass on the bottom right-hand corner there, it also says we're going southwest. But look at the red arrow on the compass here. It points out we're going southeast. That was in the original Wind Waker 2, and I never understood why. Can anyone, can anybody explain that? Because I seriously have no idea what the heck is going on with that. And that bottle would take a lot of effort, so screw that. <laughs> Anyways, I have a lot of memories of this island as well. Because I could not figure out for the life of me what to do for the longest time on this island. Whoa! And I also remember the first time I made it here, I did not have fire arrows yet, so I was really confused as to how the heck I would get in here. So let's go over here real quick, real quick skis. So bam, take that out, and use your leaf on it. <laughs> there we go, let's melt the ice. It'll be back for you later, giant column in the sky. Okay, oh, this place, this is, there's a few places like this in this game, but this is the more memorable one, at least to me. Ooh, actually, I'm going to leave that because we're going to need that magic and the fire arrows. So this sign's actually kind of broken down. Interesting. It looks like it's burnt or something, too. And maybe just because it's dark. To the living, light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in the darkness. I don't know what that means. If this gives me, like, a treasure chart or something, that'll be interesting. So anyways, yeah, you're going to want to... Light the torches, and you might be wondering, where the heck, okay, there's one torch, now where the heck are the other ones? Well, this actually might be a bit troubling for me, because I remember having a lot of trouble with this as a kid, so let's see if we can find them all. I know where two are. That being one, oh, there's one up there. Ooh, that one's going to be hard to hit. Holy crap, the arrow like, kind of curved there. It's kind of, it's curved again, what the balls? I get it? Nope. You go a bit to the left. Oh, that's too far. That's really weird how the arrow curves. It kind of looks like we're underwater, but we're not. No. Not even close. I don't know where that hit. Aw, oh, man. I should, like, get my gamepad. Ah. I might need to get my gamepad for this. This is hard to do with the controls. This is really hard to do. Oh, man. The control. Okay, let's try see if we can find another one. That one's hurting my head. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. So, so this will be three then. Dang it. See, I can't even hit this one. Come on. It's hard to tell where your arrow's going to go exactly. Or maybe it is and I'm just being stupid. Uh, let's see, I'm moving my control stick up, but it's not moving. Damn it! Oh, this is like... Uh, it's so technical, it hurts my head, man. No, we'll try this actually. We'll try aiming with the normal arrow and then shooting that so it doesn't obscure us as much. Oh, you know, I just realized I can move back and forth too. If I kind of correct my. Oh, that actually might help a lot. Let's get us some more magic and arrows so I don't have to stop in the middle here. Oh, I just saw the other one too. Oh, there's one right there. No. Uh, yeah, strafing isn't going to really help me with that one. Oh, this actually might be perfect here. Aha! I think that's five? I think I'll just leave this one. Alright, let's move it. Yeah, let's move that down. Oh, nope. press the wrong control stick that time. Try there. Did I get it? I did get it! I guess there's one more somewhere. I thought that was it. Dang it. Oh, there's one just right here. LOL, I didn't see that one, you silly. Ooh, that one actually might be hard to get. Come here, I wish to hit you. Don't be scared. Uh, that'd be really poopy if I accidentally walked back to it. I don't know why I had troubles with that as a kid. That was really easy. Oh, what's this going to give me? Is this just going to give me a random loot thing? You got an orange rupees. Well, these were, that was seriously all for 100 rupees. What? This is so, like, convoluted and complicated, though. Really? That is really weird to me. I almost feel like there's something else I'm missing in here. Huh. That one up there was the worst to hit. Although, yeah, once I figured out the fact that, like, you could not only, like... You, or, when I figured out you could strafe with this, it made, made things a lot easier. 
I kind of want to read that sign all the time. Now that I know what the loot is, just to see if it means calls anything else to me. Light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirits of the boat that forever wanders in the darkness. That's so weird. They even wrote like a custom message and all that just for 100 rupees. That's really weird to me, but okay. I, I, I guess that's it. <laughs> okay. Now the real threat of the island. You know, I never did talk to Mr. Fishman of the sound, did I? He's over there. I guess we'll go talk to him after we're done here. Hmm. Walk over here. You'll see. Hey, there's a chest on fire. And this is another thing I never did quite figure out. And then, yeah, there's a Korok over here. Probably don't even know why I talked to him. They all say the same thing. I don't know if I've done anything yet. With, uh... Wait, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? I don't know if I've done anything with what. Man, I don't know what's with me lately. I'll start saying something, and then I'll go completely off track, and I'll completely forget what I'm trying to talk about. Like, what the heck could I have been even saying there? I don't freaking know. All right, let's see if we can distract any of these birds. Birds! So it'll actually help you a lot if you snipe them out for what we're about to do here. Eh. Eh. Yeah! A lot of them, though, it's going to be really freaking hard. That was just a terrible shot. Oh, I thought that was going to hit him. Guess you gotta kind of weed them a bit, I guess. That one, I feel like it'd be hard. I didn't mean to shoot that time. Well, let's see if we can get that one. Dang it. Oh, that was gonna hit for sure. Dang it. You know what? Let's, let's just try it like this. Whoa, I was really close falling off the ledge there. Let's try it like this. See what happens. Well, first off, there's those things that pop up and down. They're bobbing. Come on, dude. Come on! Ugh! The one poopy thing about... I was gonna say, I better break it. Okay, five rupees. Big whoop. Alright, let's pull out our hoi pair here. And... Is there one over here? They all seem to be over here. Alright, so we're gonna take that out. The Seagal, the Steven Seagal is gonna come. I'm gonna fly upwards. Preferably farther away from the island so the, the evil birds don't see me. Because they will chase you as soon as they catch a wind of your evil plots. Okay. I was hoping maybe I could, like, fly up and have the camera turn the other way at the same time. But no. Unless I can. I'm just being silly here. No. It just flies in the direction. Whoa. Are they both sitting up there? Oh, no. There's just trees up there? What is that? Okay. Oh, here they comes. All right. Oh, there is two more up here. Dang. They're guarding it. Well, you guys are doing a shitty job. Wow. I got on my first try. No problem. So yeah, they all chase after you, and yeah, when they hit you, it causes you to lose control, and it, he's presumably dead now. Also, I feel like this Korok planted this tree kind of in a weird vicinity of this fire. I mean, maybe they are special trees, but it is a bit weird. Also, it is also weird that he's planting one of his trees here. You got a piece of heart! It's weird that he's planting his tree here when there's, you know... There's already a bunch of trees here. Wouldn't it have been a lot more effective if he planted his tree on maybe, I don't know, like one of the eye reefs or something? Like, or just an island that doesn't have any trees, but maybe it has some land? Because, I mean, we have come across a few islands. I, they, there's land on them, but there's no trees. So, I don't know. That's weird to me. Let's jump over here real quick and see Mr. Fishy. Oh, no, he's over here. I thought he was more the other way. Where is he? Oh, he's coming to me, I think. Wait, get out here, you cheeky bugger! There he is. Can you see it? Yeah! Alright. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah. Hi, smart fry! <laughs> That's so stupid. Alright. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And this is Needle Rock Isle. Look, it looks like a key or something. Did it look like a key? I think it looked like a key. You've seen a boat sailing around here with real huge cannons, right, Fry? I bet you those things have holes packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. And that's the only info I've got to offer. Oh, interesting. He doesn't even know it's a Triumph Forks. And then he also... It, it's, that kind of solves the mystery as to why those cannons even made uh, shiny spots as well. Just because they're special. It does look like a key. Cool. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we'll head this way and we'll 
get probably another one or two more Triforce pieces or charts or whatever. Oh, I want to... Wait, it's over here. Oh, we can't do this. This map isn't open. This map must be interpreted before you can read it. Oh, look, they have... They I had a little tingle face down there. That was not in the original game because that would have made it way too obvious. That's kind of lame they did that. Hmm. So, yeah, it looks like there's three charts on this screen. I, I've never noticed that before either. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.